<sighs> All right. Kia ora whanau. Um, it's good to be back. 2019, what a huge year 2018 was. Um, you fellas probably have already been following me on Instagram and stuff and have seen a couple of my live videos. And a big theme and a big thing that I want to cover this year is video. You fellas already know I want to become a filmmaker when I um, sort of, you know, as I move forward. And this is the start to that journey. And that's making more videos, that's being more regular on YouTube and being more regular in front of the camera. So this is video two for 2019. Um, and today I'm gonna to be talking about uh, the most recent tamoko that I did, and that was on the bro, Johnson Manuko, who came down from Fitsianga. Uh, I've never been there before, but I'm super, super privileged and stoked with the amount of people who travel from, uh, from far, especially for their first piece. So it was his first piece. And um, I just wanna talk a little bit about this piece. So it was a left sleeve, and he wanted it to represent his whānau. So he's the oldest out of nine siblings. So he's got eight younger siblings. So these first four kōru here, they represent his four, the four siblings just below him. And then these four kōru here, they represent the four youngest siblings. And if you look at it as well, there's a mangopare with the two opposing kōru. That mangopare represents him as a, to sort of represent his role as an older brother to his siblings, you know, as he, you know, as they navigate throughout their lives, he's sort of always going to be there to look out over them. And they're always going to be there for him too, um, you know, both physically and sort of in his mind as well. Also, what I did in this piece, I, as you would, may have noticed, my style is quite simplified. Uh, I don't really do too many crazy things anymore. I keep it pretty clean and I like it that way. Um, it's taken a lot to sort of pull my style back. And this whole piece only has three manaya. So the first, so I've, I've got the three manaya representing three different groups of things. The first being um, sort of the idea of intergenerations, you know, intergenerational learning, intergenerational teaching. And I've got the bottom manaya to represent him and his generation, the second manaya to represent his parents and his parents' generation, and the third manaya to represent his grandparents and their generation, and how everything we learn and everything um, we do has been passed down, you know, from generation to generation. So that's the first block of what those three manaya represent. Uh, the second block of what those three manaya represent is. Um, his Fano, the first manaya, second manaya representing his hapu, so his sub-tribe, and his the third manaya representing his iwi or his tribe. And uh, you know the idea around if you know if whanos ain't sort of functional and happy and thriving, then a hapu can't be happy and thriving. And if a hapu isn't happy and thriving, then an iwi can't be happy and thriving. You know, that sort of reciprocal sort of relationship that they have with each other. And then the last block of meanings for those three manaya represent his awa, his maunga, and his waka. So his awa being his river, his maunga being his mountain, and his um, waka being his canoe. And all the different awa, waka, and Maunga that he comes from, you know, from both sides of his family. Um, yeah, and throughout the whole piece is pretty much just Puhuru, which is this design here. And most of my moko I do now is pre predominantly Puhuru. And the reason I like doing Puhuru other than it looking really nice is that it represents being able to be adaptive in your life. You know, as the oceans come in, they also go out. So it's being able to, you know, take um, conflicts and things throughout your life and be able, being able to go through them and pivot and adapt and manoeuvre through those and move on and move forward. And all those types of things. So that's what the Puhuro represents. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much his piece. I hope you fellas enjoyed this video. Um, I've got one more video to make this week as well and I'll just leave this set up so I'll get my video recorded tomorrow so I can get it out before I go to Kapahaka this weekend. Other than that, Farno, thank you fellas for tuning in. Um, 
here's to a load more videos this year and thank you for sticking around and any suggestions for other videos I should make please leave them in the comments below and um, yeah see you fellas in the next one Cheer, cheer. Just watch me break in your sweat You're falling into me, touch me, I swear You would do anything that I want So keep us awake till the dawn Ooh, Baby, feel free I wanna make you sweat on me I wanna make you sweat on me I got you wrapped around my finger But don't you try to call me Watch me pray.